were having conflict, we were having disagreement, you know what I mean? He wanted to leave and I was like, no, where are you going, brother? Because first of all, what did he say? I'm like, yeah, I'm say, yeah, man, I know. And but, yeah, man. I'm, 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 proper shame, man. Proper, proper shame. As I'm tell you, proper I'm proper shame, very honest, open. I say, yeah, man, I know, but I don't feel the same way. And you know, say, no females with that. Yeah. 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 If him not told me, not like me. Him not box me down all of these things. Him not yeah. The single parenting on the mother's side is very hectic. Mm -hmm. She give the birth, she had to take care of the name. And she had to care of also without a man. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult, I can tell you. Right? And also, might I tell you guys that a father can be present and absent at, at the, the same, same time. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is where I'll go with my experience. Fathers are extremely important in the family background. When you think about a nuclear family with a mother and a father, you think about the man being the one who does certain handiworks, who gives that type of impression that, hey, I can protect you, I can be there for you. But with the absence of the father, it can really leave a bad impact on the mind and the life of a child. Today I have with me a sister in Christ, one of my extremely bubbling, and I can tell you all fired up for Christ, friend, and sister here on earth i pray that as she shares her story some of you who are looking you have been going through a tough time you had a father who was absent or a father who was present but not so much involved in your life this message will find lodgment in your heart be blessed by this message yes 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 so it, it's been a while since yes, it, has, yeah. it has been i mean since when we left school from 2016 you know? yes. yes yes and that was caribbean maritime <laughs> uni institute which is now no, university, university. Mm -hmm. Boy, you know what have you been doing ever since you left well i'm a customs officer now mm. um actually got to work six months after leaving uh, maritime yeah. and um I'm actually teaching part-time at Maritime now as well. Yeah, I see, so you say you go back so to your alma mater. I'm a lecturer there. Mm -hmm. um, have two class teaching. I have a full-time and yes. a part-time class teaching. So, yes. yeah, it has been it good. I mean, I mean these work children are school. different, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, remember that customs have a dual um, custody of with the, the program that we offer, yeah. the logistics program and the custom program. Yes. So that is why customs officer are involved in the process, in the process and, yeah. and so we have to gain that knowledge i waited yeah. five years oh, yes. um in order to be a part of their um school yes yes, yes. so yeah and it has been good so far you know that's my element yeah man i know Being man. a teacher from um age what 18 plus 19 mm -hmm. yes so, so that's my passion that's my love but, yes. yes i like customs i like the work but um teaching is my passion your passion you answered my next question you know you find it because <laughs> it is really your passion yes. and you know nothing beats passion your passion mm -hmm. drives you yes. passion takes you into places that you never imagined yes. to be you know you know this is my guest today this is sasha gay blake mm -hmm. and i just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy you're schedule welcome, you're just welcome. to be here you're welcome. <laughs> you know, but, um, it has it, been a long time it coming it has been <laughs> and i told my guest before you mm -hmm. that i reached out to prospects you know mm -hmm. but i had to take a step back because mm -hmm. i can sure that these individuals they were really and truly mm -hmm. what god wanted me to approach mm -hmm. whom, whom god wanted me to approach and you definitely you know were one based mm -hmm. on your story i know that it's gonna be an impactful one mm -hmm. you know and that's just what i want you to just come and just you know unfold here today as i mentioned before the father and the mother who is important in the lives of children and growing up for you you had both parents well, both you know? parents i mm -hmm. had both both parents yes you know my, my mother and my father mm -hmm. but then uh, something happened and they depart from each other after 16 years mm -hmm. of togetherness and um i that shook me a lot yeah. um seeing that all the burden he was angry that my mother left but my mother left because he was too angry yes. you know as yes. an individual and she just couldn't understand 
what was aching him, what was the pain, what what was it? Yes. You know, because my father was this type of person. You could not, we couldn't go anywhere. Party yes, was sir. next door, and we couldn't go. We we only go, and girls could not go to the shop. I mm -hmm. grew up in Tivoli Gardens, oh, yes, and yes. so, and I went to Saint Anne's Primary. So it was like from home to church, yes. from home to school, nothing mm -hmm. else. Not even family also we could go to. Oh, and this no, was, this, yes. you call this a kid. It's like he had up. us and he wanted to mold us. And I, I, I saw good and bad in it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Um, throughout my years, I think that I was too sheltered and a little bit naive. Mm -hmm. You know, and so because of that, it came a lot of abuse along the way. Yeah. Because I was open to a lot of stuff. Because of how I was raised, yes. which is good and it's bad because you know, you want to be street smart and I wasn't. You want to be a part of a certain crowd and I couldn't because I wouldn't fit in. Yeah. yeah. And it was a bit abusive, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, for me, but I think my father is a runner. Mm -hmm. He when was searching. Runner, yeah, yeah. explain that. Yeah. A there. runner, in, because he ran in and out of family. Mm -hmm. My mother was um, the last wife. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, he had one, two before, then my, come my mother, which was the last one, yeah. and that went for 16 years. Yeah. Clearly, he was searching for something. He was searching for that love that he did not get, because he did not have that love, because he didn't know his mother, and he didn't know his father. The mother died after childbirth, because yeah. baby Colin died, that I was told, and he grew up with some young ladies who he called sisters, but deep down, um, I guess they told him the story when he was a boy, yeah, so yeah. he ran away, mm -hmm. you know, he came to King somebody was a very bright man, a very intelligent and bright man, and so he made life for himself in Kingston, mm -hmm. and was working for PWD at the time, which was a good company, he was an accountant, yeah. and so he had to move back when they opened up another office in the country, in St. Catherine, yes. and so he was there for a while until he lost his job because he was a kind person. Mm -hmm. I mean, and when, when Gilbert came, um, he lost his job after Gilbert. But the abuse, I could not understand. I mean, he would beat us. I mean, he, he would, like, he, you know, he's putting his whole strength. I remember one experience when I went to help out. My mom was taking care of some old people, mm -hmm. and she was not feeling well. I was about 12 at the time, if not 12, 13. Yeah. And I went to help mommy. And he found he came home and found out that I wasn't home. Mm -hmm. And he he came to mommy workplace and I get about three bucks on my face. Yes, lying up no, no, no. Um, I, I remember the, the the handprint was left in my face, and I cried and I cried and I said, abuse, abuse, bring split, yeah. and from split to hardship, and I had to endure all of that. And so my friend would say, the strength of Sasha, mm -hmm. because I don't know where I get strength. And so my dad being a part of um, Lodge, yeah. so he wanted to get out and mm -hmm. he got out. But I, 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 as a child observing everything, because mm -hmm. I'm very observant, yes, good, I might good. not talk. And I used to suck my finger, you know, mm -hmm. my thumb. Yes. And so I would, but I, that made me very observant. Mm -hmm. And I saw the change in him and how he used to talk to himself. I mean, hear my grandparents coming up, saying, mad people talk to themselves. Yeah. So I felt that he was getting crazy. And But he wanted out. He wanted what we had as, as children. We were committed to church. Yes. We were committed to God. I remember our father, when he gave us money in the week for school, he always said, so it's power God money day. Mm. So if a fifty dollar you know say I mean, he had five some dollar tell so God for, in yeah, him for a long time. Yes. Because mm -hmm. we, we were raised in the Catholic Church with him as well. Yes, yes. Um but for me I left the Catholic Church because I thought that they focused too much on Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary Mary good okay, but I wanted to focus on God. Jesus. I don't want anybody to yes. take God's place. God. And so he saw us He's instilled in us that we need to go to church and God needs to be in our lives. That's he was right. that father that, that person. So I think when he saw us committed to God, he want that he wanted that back. Mm -hmm. And so he came out of that. Mm -hmm. And they did what they what they did to him. He lost everything. Yeah. So I saw a man with wealth come down to nothing. nothing. And it robbed us so much from our childhood. I tell people, say, white 
rice and cabbage. Mm -hmm. Nobody can give me white cabbage and white rice. Yeah. Uh, if I eat it, it's me who want to eat it. Uh. Because I remember as a child how we feed upon that thing. Uh, you know, because uh, I see our wealthy man become so co yeah. so poor, mm -hmm. dirt poor. Mm -hmm. We had to be owing lunch at school. We had to be wearing some tight clothes. Look at my little foot. Mm -hmm. My foot little <laughs> and my shoes that are burning. Wow. So something was happening to him, not being able to provide for his family, which he, he, he was the sole provider at one point. Mommy now had to get up and go out there and everything like that. And so he was angry with himself. That yeah. made him angry as well, you know. So losing everything can make somebody angry, Indeed. you know, and don't know See what to do. So I can't blame him yeah. for everything, yeah. you know. I wish he had talked to somebody. That's it. When I wish he had seen help, yeah. you know. But uh, but then I think it because he was proud because I think he was very proud. He was a proud man, so that is what um maybe trigger the the anger. Yes, you know. To yeah, contributed to the anger. But my father was a sweetheart. Other than that, he was very kind, yes. very beloved by his community. His church people talk about him like you know, so that I mean, Mr. Blake is very helpful in different things and everything like that. So. And he had a very good turnout for his funeral. I yes. remember we had a full JUTT but going down to Clarendon with me and everything like that. Good, he was being a good, good principal, good reputation, but mm. persons did not know what was going on inside the world. With just that search for belonging. love and the belonging and yes, wanting so. to feel. Right, he wanted know. to be a part yeah. of. Yeah. And he had it. All he had to do Existing. was to just change and to just say, you know what? Mm. Let me embrace my family yes. because this is what. God has given us to, to, to so he was searching though yes. so that is why he found me mm. in the end yes, that's right you know that's right. and to pick Good up point. you know pick up and I remember when mom and dad left I had to come to Kingston and I remember him saying she might know and that thing hurt me you know and that day she sent dinner for him you know she sent dinner for him because you know he never can cook you know but, cook. Mm. You know, but that thing hurt me I had to ask for fear to go back home mm -hmm. because if not, I would have to walk from Kingston to Kingston to one. Kingston no, not near. Because so you are living in Tivoli. Yes, so town is where my mother is from. So oh. we had to move back. And, that's more and I never like liked that place, place any at all. Mm -hmm. The red dirt, the lack of water because they didn't have water. We, 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 but it buy water, catch water, rain water. You mean, our whole life turned upside and down when. You know, the, you know, when the family separated, you know, and everything. Well, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, these, in all in all, mm -hmm. you had both good and bad experiences. Yes, so. But what we're taking from it is that, one, there is a way how to do things. Yes, and if we can look at the morality of life and practice the right things, yes. then that way persons can be able to still learn the right way instead of the hard way. Yes. You were such an innocent child. Very and innocent. You didn't do anything to basically deserve, deserve that, that mm. you know but because of the lack of love your father was feeling and the yeah. pain he was enduring you know he was searching he was trying to not just exist but to mm -hmm. live and you had to endure those abuse but you know there is somebody here who may have that same experience yeah. going through right now i just want you to you know speak to that person right now and share that word of encouragement just before we left. so anybody that is going through any type of um, abuse, whether physical, verbal, um, even in the form of depression, you know, look to God because He was my um, Savior. If you'd love to see the extended version of Sasha's story, leave it in the comments. There are different avenues that people can choose to, to traverse mm -hmm. on their way to finding God. Yeah. All right. It's not only, let me give you a track. You come, you sit in the pews, you hear that God loves you, yes, yes. you change your life. Well, God is God. Listen, I sold my car to pay my tuition yes, one of the year. Sometimes you have to go back to go forward. Yes, come on. Sometimes you have come to go back now. to go forward.